Good morning everybody and what a lovely morning it is too. So I am currently in Rifty and I am going to attempt to walk Munnith Mower. I hope I've pronounced that right. If I haven't, please correct me. But look at the views today. So I woke up, had a look out of the caravan window and seen all across the mountains here. It was all, well, it was all pretty clear. So I thought, right, that's where I'm going to head and this one is one that I've wanted to do for a couple of years now. So that's where we're going today. I've got plenty of layers on because despite it being very sunny, there was a definite nip in the air. But they do forecast it to go really quite nice today which will be nice and I'm hoping I'm actually going to get some good views in as well so it starts off I'm walking through the forest and then I think I pass a lake and then I start going up to the left when you look at it from this angle <laughs> It's quite high. <laughs> I'm not sure the actual height of it, but yeah, it's quite a steep one this. But anyway, it's got to be done. Look at that sun. Gosh, lovely. I can feel like a layer's gonna come off very soon. Well, this is where I'm currently walking up. Look how dense the forest is there. Crazy, and it's the same the other side as well. That was the pathway I went up Snowdon a few weeks ago across that way where the mist is now exactly the same as when I done it just look at the views now I'm not going to peek too soon by saying this but a certain someone with four legs might be a little bit quieter today because I think she's still a bit tired from the walk yesterday. She's a little bit, little bit subdued. And usually, I mean, she did jump straight into the car, so I knew she wanted to come out. But usually when we pull up anywhere, she starts whining. And she didn't, she just sort of sat there. <laughs> so whether she thought we were just going for a nice drive somewhere, I'm not too sure. But it'll be interesting to see if she whines on all the videos when I stop. So far she's not. She's just plodding along in her own little world. Just loving life, aren't you, Molly? Hey, eh? Come on. Yep, straight on this way. Oh, there we go. Little whine off her just, just to let you know she's still here. Aren't you? <laughs> Go on. Just see the lake there to the right of me. So I did see quite a few big mountains in front and I'm guessing one of them is the one I'm heading up. And they look very tall from this point. <laughs> oh. Good job, I had a big bowl of granola this morning to get me up there. Oh dear, 
I was originally going to do a walk. Oh, you've gone all giddy now. Oh, very hyper. Yeah, I was originally this morning. I thought, oh, I'll do a, another waterfall walk and somewhere I know I can have a dip with it being quite nice weather. But the walk starts around Lamberis and that's where you've got to park. And I think there's some kind of um, race on over this weekend because when I was driving back through Lamberis yesterday, it was very busy. And I know it's a Friday, but a lot busier than you would expect it to be this time of year. And all along the route, and the same this morning, there's little uh, drink stations for runners, and like beware runners signs everywhere. So it must be quite a quite a big race that's on. So if anybody knows, it's what Saturday the 26th. So is anyone partaking in the race? I will have a look when I get back exactly what the race is. Just notice down by the lake, so that's um, the Snowdon base campsite. And there are a few little campers there. I bet they were cold last night because it was cold in the caravan. Well, when I say cold, it went to about, I think it's like 14 degrees. I did hear the heating kicking in. So I did get up and turn it off because I thought, I don't really need it on. But it was definitely colder last night than the night before. Yet I'd say it's a bit warmer today weather-wise. So you don't really know, do you, what it's doing? Oh, right, I'm heading up a little bit now. I will have to keep checking because I am doing good old old trails again. <laughs> But it's a linear walk, straight there, straight back. So as long as I stick to a path, can't go wrong, can I, guys? Oh, and that's two paths, right? I'm going to get my get my all trails out. I bet it's that one. I bet it's the more craggy one. Yep. What did I tell you? It's this one. <laughs> right. I think the camera can go away for a bit till we get. Oh, some exciting shots and you're not just listening to me heavy breathing climbing up here go on Mal. go on all right oh right this is a this is a good path <laughs> right up that way oh that was quite a steep climb through the forest there oh so I'm out the forest now. Views are lovely already. Oh, I'll stop up here. You can see where I'm heading. Doesn't look that bad now. I have climbed a bit there in the forest. Let's look at that. That's my next one. Where's my finger? That one. I want to do that very soon, hopefully before season ends, so it'll be this week, weather permitting. But how lovely is that? Right, come on, Mal. Off we go. Oh, excuse the heavy breathing. <laughs> but, oh, just look at it. So, still a quite a clear little path going up here. Oh, lordy. Definitely need to be hitting that gym from next week. Get my fitness levels right up there. Oh, I'm okay. If I just stop for like a couple of minutes, I'm fine. I can get my breath back and I'm ready to go. But I think it's um, a lot to do with my breathing. I think my breathing's all wrong. <laughs> but at least I am breathing. <laughs> so that's the main thing. Oh, I have taken a layer off, but it's quite blustery. I've put my little 
wind mufflers over my mics so hopefully the sound will be okay oh. right Whew. there's just two other lads behind me they set off pretty much the same time I did so oh. they've got youth on their side oh. Oh, dear. oh it's windy here it's going to be very windy up there oh bloody I don't even think that's the one. I think I'm going higher than that one. If I look at all trails, that's the only problem with all trails. Whew. It shows you <laughs> where you've come and what I sense you've got left. And put it this way, it's showing a lot. <laughs> She's perked up. She's good to go again, right? Just consulted all trails. Yep, up and over this one. There is little style in the fence there. And then up to the top. And then, just show you that view again. <laughs> Look at that. I think it's like a ridge walk once I get to the top of this bit. So you'll have to go back on your lead, Mal. Right, I wonder how many stops I'm going to have to make on this. I'm going to try and get to the style without stopping. Oh, go on, Mal. There we go. Come on. Good girl. Right. Oh, God. Oh, dear. I'm coming. Right. Oh, dear. You're going to get a lot of views <laughs> while I catch my breath. Oh dear. Go on, Mal. Right. Oh, someone heading down there. Right, come on then. Oh, I'm not going to lie. Parts of this are a bit craggy. Go on. Right. I'll put her on a lead early. Because I don't know exactly Ooh. what's at the top. Oh Come on, let's say. Oh, Lordy. Right. Not much more. God. Good girl. the road I normally drive along into Rithdy from Penny Gross. Oh, okay so oh sorry just untangling Molly's lead didn't mean to spin you all around then all right Ooh. Oh. right keep going Mal. right I've got to have a minute do you know what? This definitely works not in my favour teaching Molly not to pull on the lead <laughs> because if she did she could just drag me up these oh but what she does is every time the, the lead goes a bit tight she stops which then makes it difficult for me to get any sort of momentum going up Oh dear, never mind. You're a good girl, aren't you, hey? Yeah. Oh, you're a good girl. You're just waiting for bickies, aren't you? Oh dear. I might let these two young young men pass me, I think. Gosh, I'm boiling. Oh, and my nose is running. I'm going to have to blow my nose. That's not very attractive, is it? I'm all snotty. <laughs> We're stopping again, aren't we, Mal? Oh dear. I tell you what, my cheeks are feeling pretty hot. 
it's so nice to actually sit here and look back at where I've walked up from. And that's a flipping steep bit that I've just done. Isn't it, Mal? That was steep. Oh. <sighs> gonna have five minutes here, just taking it. And honestly, these views, I'm gonna actually film a bit on my phone now because I can get the views a little bit better, but it's absolutely stunning. But I just sit here looking at every mountain summit and think, oh, want to do that one, want to do that one. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever do them all in my lifetime. Oh, gorgeous. And this is what lifts my moods. Not that I'm a moody person, as you've probably guessed, but we all have them days, don't we? Where we're a bit low or we can't be bothered. And them are them, them are them. <laughs> Those are them days where I have to give myself a little kick up the backside just to get out in the fresh air. And I always know within 10 minutes or so, my mood will have just changed completely. And then I get back to wherever I am, be it the caravan or, or home, and I'm just a refreshed, better person to be around. It's just lovely. Isn't it, Mal? Oh, she's having a little lay down, bless her. We can see her, look. Oh. <laughs> tired. See, she can be quiet. Everyone will be thinking you're not with me because you're so quiet. Hey, are you going to do a little, hmm, hey, are you not excited on this walk, is that why you're not whining? Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh, right, I'll show you these views now. Isn't that just something else? That last little bit wasn't too bad actually. I think after having that little five minute break. But this is the next bit. <laughs> All trails misled me. What are you doing in there? Come on. Because I looked at it and I thought, oh, I'm nearly at the highest point. Well, I will be when I get to that bit. <laughs> I must have misread it. I thought it was this bit I'm on now. But no. So there's two people coming down. Those lads are nearly at the top now. Uh, obviously, a lot fitter than moi. It's actually not that boggy, the path either. It was through the forest, but this bit's okay. I have got a wet bum where I sat on the grass, so... Oh, never mind. Right, this bit now, Mal. Hold on. Just spoke with the ones who were coming down. And they said it's extremely windy up at the top along the ridge. <laughs> so maybe another layer back on. <laughs> They've got gloves on and everything, so may even have to pop my gloves on when I get up there. I did have them on when I got out of the car because it was quite cold took them off because I warmed up a little bit. Oh dear. Might be swapping my hat as well. <laughs> so I might blow off. Oh, oh it just gets. Oh, you're a bit close then. <laughs> See all my lines. 
as it just gets just even more breathtaking quite literally <laughs> breathtaking the higher you get oh it's going to be amazing up here because you'll get the view going out to the sea as well which obviously you can't get from this point it's all inland oh, right and it's staying fingers crossed mist free about flipping time i done a walk with no mist right oh, i'm hoping this is gonna be the highest bit now as i get to the top here Woo. Oh. <laughs> oh dear me. Go on, Mal. Um, I think I'll go to the right. There's a little pathway to the left, but this looks the. Oh, oh, I can see someone all the way over there. If you can pick them up on this camera. Oh. There's people over there as well. Oh, I'm quite excited to see what's at the top of here then. I wonder if I should be heading that way then. Right, we'll go here because this is the highest point. Put stone on the cairn. Oh yeah, then I look like, yeah, I'm going that way. And then, all along the top there, I think, oh, to there. So, there's not that much more now that's high. Right, come on, Mal. Stop, not for you. There we go, Caroline, living in the moment. Leave it. Come on. Oh, I think, definitely. Gloves are going back on because geez, it's cold. Right, stop here. Uh, excuse me, can we put that back on top? That's gonna love your teeth. Right, leave it. It's got to go on here. Leave it. Right, come on, let's go. Come on. Get, oh, she's a look. Little bugger. <laughs> Molly. <laughs> Mo. Oh, right. I'm going to go without you then. Bye bye. <laughs> it's like having a child, <laughs> honestly. Right. Go without you. <laughs> if she tries to bring that stone with her, she is. Look. Molly. Put the stone down. <laughs> Come on. You're not carrying that. Come on, let's go. Oh dear me. Oh, layers are all back on. And where is she? Yep, she's still carrying the stone. I hope you can see her there. But she's going back on a lead now because there are some big drops up here. So hopefully, get that stone off it. But. You can guarantee, on the way back, she will know where we've put this stone. Right, let's, let's do a little test. So, I'm gonna put the stone, Mal, Molly, come here, give me lead on now. Come here, right. Thank you, give me the stone. Right, I'm gonna put it, on this little stone here. Right, stop. And I put it there. Right, leave it, leave it, put it down. Come on, you've got to go back on your lead now. Right, I'm gonna get a lead on. Let she picks it up on the way back. This bit of the path doesn't seem like you're, you're doing mountain walks. You don't normally get a good clear path like this. It looks like it goes all the way round pretty clear. I wasn't expecting this. This is lovely. It's nice and easy too. Come on, 
Well, she is back on her lead. And she is trying to get back to the stone, which is just over that way. <laughs> Honestly, she's a terror, aren't you, Mal? I had to distract her with a bit of peanut butter sandwich. It's the only way I could get her to leave the stone. It's definitely windy. Oh, bloody. Oh, I was just a bit curious as to what the view was. Kind of, there's the path to the right. Oh, look at that. Mist is coming in across there. Hopefully I'll get, yeah, I should easily get over there. It seems to be a band, oh, it is actually coming across my way. Right, come on, Mal. We need to look sharp. Oh, I'll be gutted if I get up there and that mist has come across. So there's no right for stopping so often, taking in the views. Look at that, very craggy. Yeah, it's definitely blowing across from the left there. There's lovely blue skies that way. Well, kind of. Oh, it looks as though it's just bypassing where I'm heading. Because it's all very clear in front. Behind, it's a whole different story. So I'm glad I'm not on one of them today. And there's probably quite a lot of people on them. With it being Saturday, the um, car parking with D was pretty full. There was only a, a two or three spaces available. So lots of people out walking today. Would it be in weekend? Right. Tell you what, that wind is proper biting wind. Right, have a minute, ready for this next little bit, and that's it. That's all, oh, camera's blowing, that's all the uphills done. Right. Yeah, it's not good over that way. I kind of feel like it's a race against time because every now and again if I look behind me there's just a band which looks like it's gonna catch up with me but then it kind of clears I think because it's so windy the wind's kind of blowing it across quite quick oh look at this I can see Anglesey. Oh Lord, nearly there, Mal. Not putting a stone on that cairn. <laughs> Not coping with her carrying them. Oh look, if you can see it. That's the only thing with this camera. I can't zoom in on it, so I have to get my phone out, which I will do in a minute. I'm gonna have lunch, I think at the top here if I can get a bit of shelter from the wind oh. talk over this way oh hoodie oh. oh. I'll take these mufflers off them in so you can see ya see ya hear how windy it is So that's how windy it is. <laughs> I'm guessing there will be a noticeable difference. Oh, these lads are here now. I'm gonna sit in there, have my egg sandwich. Right. Yeah, Mal.
So just over there is the quarry I was in last week where I took a dip. There's Carnarvon. There's another little place to sit here. So we'll leave them guys in peace. Oh, come on, man, let's get in here. Oh, come on, let me get. Oh my god, it's so windy. Right. Oh, let's get up this way. Oh, come on. Oh, oh god. That's better. I was taking my breath away. Right, we're going to have some dinner now, aren't we, Mal? Re energise. But we made it unscathed. I know we have got to get back yet, but pretty proud of myself there. I've not got lost, I've not fallen. We're all in one piece, not lost anything along the way. In fact, I found the mic that I thought I'd lost yesterday because I thought I'd dropped it when I got back to the car. But when I looked, it was actually on my rucksack. So that was a bit of a winner as well. I didn't lose my mic. Right, let's get some dinner and then I'll get some photos for the old Instagram. <laughs> Starving. Lunch with a view <laughs> of mist. I bet if that mist wasn't here, that would be a gorgeous view. You enjoy flipping egg, Molly. You made light work of that, didn't you? I have this really horrible feeling that when I stand up, from this little sheltered spot to go back down. It's gonna be thick mist because it's really rolling across now. But I need to have my dinner. Oh gosh, it is. <laughs> I'll just turn the camera around. Oh, you can't even see. gonna have a minute because it is all cleared again so just briefly I can have my cereal bar that I've brought and from this one I can keep my eye on it a little bit better I couldn't see a thing in that one but you can sit here can't you there was nowhere for you to sit was there <sighs> yeah I'm gonna risk it I did panic a little bit then because I thought gosh if that comes across again I'm not gonna see the path but, oh, I don't, oh gosh, I don't know. No, do you know what, guys? I'm not going to risk it because it's coming again. Right, come on, Mal, we need to go. <laughs> Safety is more important than a cereal bar.
bed going to see if we left anything. No, we've not. <sighs> right. And this is it, where you have to be, I say it every single time, prepared for every eventuality. That was literally within the space of five, ten minutes. You just couldn't see on the top of here. It's all clear again. But it's very thick over there. That's the, I think that's the Nantle Ridge. Pretty sure it is. Someone can correct me on that one. But they're not going to have very good views. That's my bog standard walk, that. Right. Oh, she's gone all giddy now. Look, you know why she's giddy? Because she knows we are heading down for something we've left behind. Look at her. So she's got to get all the way over there. Where am I? I can't see my fingers black with the thing. Yeah, that's where the stone is. Right. Oh, do you know what I might even do when I get back to the car? I've brought my little stove. I think I might even make a little hot chocolate when I get back down. Be nice. I should really bring a little flask of something hot. I know a lot of people do that and I never think to do it but I think if I can get a small enough little flask just for one drink and one that doesn't leak that would be quite handy because now I've got my, my new winter rucksack that I bought last week, I'll be able to get a little flask in as well. So that's my that's my next purchase, I think. So I could so do with not a coffee, a hot chocolate, I think. Then again, if someone was to offer me a coffee, I wouldn't say no. <laughs> Just to warm up. It's chilling to the bones. Right. I don't know if I unnecessarily panicked then, but better to be safe than sorry, isn't it? I'll pick you back up in a bit and see does she... What I'm going to do when we get near where we drop the stone, see does she pick it up again. So nice to get in this little bit, out the wind a bit. It's taken my breath away up there. Oh, it's so much easier going down. <laughs> it's funny because when you start going down, then you're like, oh, could you do some moaning coming up here? <laughs> it's not that bad. Uh, oh dear. And I think I could have stayed up there a little bit longer because there's no mist at all now up there. a bit of a drop. Oh, I'm off. She knows we're getting close. What are you looking for? Hey, you lost something. Is myself now. Go on, Ma. I know it isn't where I put it because she picked it up again. I think it's just on the path now. Oh, it was just up here, I think. It's 
done. She put it on the path. For. I've not got it. No, I think she can't find it. You lost it. Where is it? Hey? Where is it? Where's your stone? Where is it? <laughs> I think we've lost that one, Mal. Oh dear. Not to worry. Oh, well, she didn't find it, guys. She's probably just pinched another one now. Look. Come on. Come on. Don't believe it. So we got to the the cairn here. I put the camera away. She legged it all the way back up there to where it just goes up a little bit. And what does she find? A stone. <laughs> she would not go past this spot. She just kept whining and looking back. So I went, go on then, go and get it. So she's reunited with the stone. See how far she wants to carry it down. Don't mind her taking it down. Back at the forest now. Oh, it was a bit of a workout for the old knees coming down. <laughs> oh, I could feel it. But then the younger lads who had kind of been with me going up and then caught up with them going down, they said the same. It was wrecking their knees, and I thought, flipping it, they're like late teens, early 20s. They don't stand a chance when they get to 53 if they're hurting now. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh. But if you look, it's not so misty now. Whether it is when you're higher up, I'm not too sure, because it did look like this before, didn't it? Right, come on, Mal. This is a bit of a different way going back, isn't it? Come on. We decided to go through a lower gate. But it's still part of the slate trail, so I know it's going to get me on the the path through the forest here that I want to be. Come on, come on. Oh, tell you what, though. Oh, despite my huffing and puffing. <laughs> I've actually really enjoyed this walk and I feel really invigorated if you like obviously because I've got the blood pumping around my body quite a lot on them uphill bits so I feel oh it's very muddy this path I made a bit of an error here right yeah I just feel really good whether my legs will be aching tomorrow. Oh, jeez. Right, I'm just ducking down because this path's a bit, a bit horrible. Isn't it, Mal? So on the way back, I'm going to try. Oh, I've picked the camera up at the wrong point here, haven't I? I might not put this bit in so that you all think I've done really, really well. <laughs> oh, I spoke too soon, didn't I? Well, oh, right, I'm back on the path that I came up on now. I don't know. Oh, flipping it. Right. Not good. Right, um. Oh! It was that way, was it? No, thinking. Oh my god! Oh, no, it's that way. Oh, it's not going well, 
move it that way or that way? That way, right. Come on, Mal, because we just went straight all the way. Yeah. We're gonna, see that's where I've just cut through there. Doesn't look that muddy there, but it is. Right, yeah, this is the way we came because I recognise this bit because I went oh on the grass here. Right, as I was saying, I feel really invigorated. I feel even more invigorated if I'm rolling about in the mud. Which way, Mal, shall we go? That way. Try and stick on this grass here. I'm sure this wasn't this boggy before. Oh, am I going the right way? I don't actually remember this now. Oh yeah, I do, because I walked on that side and made an error there as well. See, that's because I've just got so excited with myself for getting up and down. No issues whatsoever. Stop bragging. I was always told as a child I shouldn't boast about things. <laughs> just shows you why doesn't it come on you all knew that something like that had to happen at some point that's the first sort of slip I've had I'm no I'm not gonna say it what I was gonna say because if I say it something's gonna happen I'll tell you when I'm back in the car what I was gonna say They give in good Halloween vibes. They spooky, all covered in moss. I can say it now. I'm back on flat ground. I was going to say that was the first kind of little stumble that I've had the whole of the walk. So I've done really well. I've managed to stay on my feet for all of the walk. And what I was saying before I had my little stumble was I'm gonna try and find somewhere on the way back for Molly to have a swim because I think it really helps their joints as well after we've done these long walks. Because a bit like us in our cold water pods, if you get in those after you've done training, it's good for all your muscles. So surely Molly going in some cold water too will clean her and also might ease her joints a little bit. Come on, Mal. I mean she doesn't she doesn't suffer with any dodgy joints or anything, not yet anyway. We need to keep them looked after because I honestly don't know what I'm gonna do when I'm my little hiking buddy can't join me and she's a bit big to carry in a rucksack really oh, I just hope I give up before she does <laughs> oh, can't imagine not having her with me right don't want to be thinking morbid thoughts like that when I've just been on a nice walk oh nearly back at the car now anyway hot chocolate is calling my name I'm guessing that whatever this um, race is that's on, people are still passing through because there's lots of cheering, lots of horns being honked and bells being rung. So it's obviously happening now. I think going back, I'm going to cut through, cut up this road um, up to Penny Growers list then the road should be pretty clear going back up the station there handing out water and stuff right i'm parked just here So in need of this. So yeah, there's a few. I wouldn't say runners now, they're walking, bless them. But they've come all the way from Hamburg. Good on them. 
and the steam train's coming through as well so I'm hoping I might get a shot of that oh here it is Chocolate with a view. Oh, back to the caravan. I honestly cannot believe the time again. It's like half three. <laughs> Just I don't know where my days are going. I don't know how long I was doing that walk. It doesn't seem that long. I think on all trails it said four and a half hours so that could be about right to be honest with you and I did stop quite a few times oh I'll be glad to get back have a shower and then just completely vegetate for the rest of the day and evening so I'm now going back along the road that you could see from the summit so I can look to my right and be like oh I've done that Find that one now. Once again, thank you so much for joining me on my little adventure. I hope you've enjoyed watching where I've been today. I hope you're all very, very proud of the fact that I didn't get lost. Nothing happened to me. We got back in one piece, didn't we, Molly? Probably the first walk in a long time that's happened. Could it this be the start of something new? You never know. I reckon I'll lose a few subscribers if all my walks start going to plan. <laughs> I'm sure some people just watch to see me wandering aimlessly around mountain tops and fields and goodness knows what. But anyway, thank you for watching and I will see you all again very soon on my next adventure. Goodbye for now.